Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I want to take you on a walk through my pencil case. The case I have is the Home Cube large capacity pencil case and ultimately I I really like it. I like the pockets and the compartments, but I think it's a little large and we'll talk about that as we go. So the first thing I want to show you is this long point pencil sharpener that I have. It's a two-step sharpener, so you sharpen on the first side on the left and then the side on the right and it makes your points longer. I have two polymer erasers here and they're good for just erasing large areas. The one has a corner bitten out of it by a baby, not my baby, and this is a kneaded eraser. I love kneaded erasers. I actually probably spend more time playing with and stretching this eraser than I do actually erasing with it. It's very nice for de-stressing, so I'm going to show this to you for just a little bit too long. I love kneaded erasers. I should probably just spend some time with my eraser. The pencils that I have are in order from right to left, a mechanical pencil with 0.5 lead, a Prismacolor Cola Erase pencil in vermilion, and then this other Prismacolor Verithin pencil. One side is red and one side is blue. I have packs of both of those pencils and I like them. This is a standard big ballpoint pen, super cheap. I like to have it for light sketching and making notes mostly. It's always good to have a pen for making notes. These are my brush pens, a Pentel dual tip brush pen that I got in California, the Pentel brush pen in black, the more standard one, and the Pentel pocket brush pen. I didn't realize these were all Pentel brush pens, to be honest, until I was typing out the uh, text for this video, and I was like, oh wow, look at that, they're all Pentel brush pens. I'd like to try some other brands of brush pens. These are pretty good, pretty standard brush pens, I like them. Other miscellaneous things I have in my pencil case include my Tombow adjustable eraser, my pencil extender for when my pencils get really short and small, and my Uniball Signo white gel pen that I've been using actually less and less these days. But in the back here I keep extra lead for my mechanical pencil, as well as an eyedropper that I use to reactivate paints when I'm out, and I have Arteza water brushes. I try to use real brushes even when I'm out if I can, but these water brushes are super handy. This is actually a Pentel Aquash water brush that I filled with diluted ink, so it's nice for when I'm sketching and I want to get in some quick values and I can just kind of get light ink washes that I can build up and just for concepts and ideas and things. The back of this pencil case, there's a compartment too, and it has this little foldy thing that I think is supposed to be like a stand that you could put pencils or brushes in. I don't really like it. It doesn't really stay up very well, so I just keep my business cards in here. So um, I have business cards from Moo.com and I love them. They're very nice quality and I was able to get them with a bunch of different patterns on them. So I picked some of my favorite recent paintings and got to choose a bunch of different designs for my business cards. And the nice thing I like about this space on the back is that I can actually put one of my smaller watercolor palettes in it. So I have a couple different palettes that will fit into this space. A small white folding palette and my portable painter palette. It's a little bit chunkier, doesn't fit quite as well, but it still works in there pretty well. This is my portable painter. If you aren't familiar with these palettes, there are some really great reviews out there. I used to use this exclusively. It comes with a brush and I filled mine with various Daniel Smith paints except for the Burnt Umber, which is actually a Winsor & Newton Cotman paint, but I love that color Burnt Umber so much that I really wanted to have it in like a travel palette. This you may recognize as my custom watercolor palette that I put together last week, I believe, and showed to you guys. It has paints from a bunch of different brands. I think there are 20 colors in here, and so this one is a wider variety of colors, and actually this one fits a little bit better in my pencil case, which is surprising. So it has these little pockets that I don't use. Maybe I could put pins on them. And that's pretty much it. I know I went through this stuff really quickly, guys. I hope you don't mind. Um, I will be leaving links to as many of these items as possible down in the description. And if you have questions about any of them, please just let me know and I would be happy to answer them for you. All right, I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week. Bye.